here we have some steps for solving um, application problems basically. Uh, when we're dealing with word problems there are some things that you should do in order in order to be able to solve them. So your first step says to identify what you're looking for. Um, you're supposed to read through the problem and it says several times and that's absolutely true because you're really supposed to be trying to figure out what this problem says. You're, you're trying to figure out what it is that you know and what it is that you already understand about the problem. What is it asking? What's it saying? What's going on? And then you can move on to trying to figure out what they're truly asking. Uh, so the second step then says to give names to the unknowns. I kind of um, put these two steps together myself. I mean, I think that whenever you're looking at a word problem, the first thing that you have to do is to try to figure out, you know, what, did, what information did they give you? What do you know about the problem to start with? Um, and then you're identifying the things that you know and that you don't know labeling those things that you do not know as your variables. That's extremely important. And if you can get that part of the problem down pat, the rest of it is not bad at all. And then it's just a matter of solving. The next step after that is to actually create your equation. And I know that a lot of us, we, we see a word problem and the first thing we do is start writing. We have, there's nothing to write at the beginning you have to understand the problem before you begin picking up your pencil and starting to write down anything. Uh, and then it's just a matter of translating what they've given you into a equation, a mathematical statement. Then you're going to be solving the equation and you're already comfortable enough with the algebra that this should not be a problem at this point. Then the last step say to check the reasonableness of your answer. See if it makes sense logically. And then to answer the question. You're the last thing that you do with a word problem should always be to go back and reread the problem again and see if your answer makes sense and if you actually answered the question that they asked. A lot of times they'll only ask you for maybe one item but it's not what you really solve for. You have to go another step further. Just make sure that you're rereading the problem and asking the question posed. Now there are five basic kind of categories of word problems. Uh, there are direct translation problems. These um, can include um, integer problems, money problems, different things where you're basically just taking an English statement and translating it into mathematics and then solving it. Okay. There are also mixture problems which are exactly what they say they are. They're things like we're mixing one brand of tea with another brand of tea and coming up with a mixture. There are geometry problems where you're working with some sort of a shape of triangles, rectangles, squares, trapezoids, uh, and you're using formulas mainly to be able to work with them and to solve them. There are uniform motion problems where you're talking about distance, rate, and time, bicyclists, car speeds, um, boats, things that are traveling at a specific rate. And finally, there are work problems, and we're going to deal with these later on. Work problems um, are things like where you're doing a job, like saying <clears throat> Bobby can paint a house in so many hours and Susie can paint a house in so many hours, so how long does it take them to do the job together? Those are all work problems, and we're going to work a few types of some of these.